How are you doing? It's a beautiful day right here and I'm sure it is over there with you as well. So who do we have here today? We have Morissette. What does Morissette have for us today? We'll find out. What new song is this? Never enough. Okay, now sit back, relax as we are going to react and analyze her voice together. Let's see what makes them tick. Yeah. But before we go on, in case you don't know me by now, my name is Frank. Maybe this is your first time. Hit that subscribe button. My name is Frank. I'm a professional vocal coach. Anything is possible. I I'm saying this because there's nothing like a hopeless situation. Even um, if you think you have the worst voice in the world, there is hope you can get to sing. I mean, it's a great joy when because I teach a lot of people online, on Skype, one-on-one. -on -one, and it's a great joy when you see someone or hear someone some months back, they sounded terrible, like no hope, off-key, flat. You do this, bum, and they repeat. Ah, and they think it's the same. It's great joy when finally they turn to a decent singer. And I'm, to I'm not talking about years. It just takes them a couple of months. So there's hope for everyone. As long as you can talk, you can sing. Go to my playlist. It begins there. Go to my playlist. I have different things I taught on every subject. I covered singing. So go there. Find something for yourself, or if you know a loved one, or if you know someone who's aspiring to sing, you can share this with the person, all right? Let's get on with this. I can't wait. Morissette is back. More volume, right? That smile. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I just checked through because maybe it's a song I know. And that's why when she started singing it, she started so well. And I thought I've done this, this song before of her. Um, yeah, and I thought this was a repeat, but I don't think so. I just went through um, my videos right now and I didn't find it. So we are good. All right, so let's go. Wish. Seven, five. Let it stay this moment. Getting loud That, that that kick man okay now where she is right now that that low low range she's singing would be difficult for a lot of ladies but she's exceptional <laughs> all right she's not an ordinary singer and these little things they do you just listen to the song if you don't have knowledge what's happening you just enjoy the singer and at the end of the day you say oh great voice great voice. what what makes her voice great that's what i'm telling you not right now you see the low range she is singing on right now it's not what every lady or most ladies can sing comfortably because it's way below their um tessitura or comfort zone and she does it effortlessly <laughs> I don't know the song, but that's the range she is, and she hits it nicely. And you can hear the deepest and richest part of her voice because that's below, around, and slightly below her chest voice. Very nice, very nice and rich tone. I 
I know what it is. It's a um, fourth impact that this, this, this song it made me think, ooh, I've heard this song before. Oh my God, this must be the best version I've, I've heard so far. We are not done yet, and we are not done yet. Woo! Every good singer should be able to sing with vibrato. Don't deceive yourself, okay? Now, um, now um, I, I know that there are singers who don't sing with vibrato, but that doesn't make you a no singer. You are a singer. But to take you to the next level, to bring out that professionalism, professional twist and uh, tone or touch, you need to be able to sing with vibrato. That's one of the things that make good singers special when they can sing with vibrato. All right, so take your singing to the next level. Begin to practice with vib vibrato. You hear a lot of it in um, Morissette's voice. It's amazing, you know, sometimes they don't pronounce words necessarily the same way. She Sometimes she went, for me, for me. And then she goes, for me. While keeping the mouth round. It's a style. I don't know why she did that, but, you know, variation. It's a style I think she just, um, she could have went also, for me. But I think she wanted an open vowel to keep it big up there. For me. It's okay here. Me is a closed vowel. Me. Closed vowel. For me. For me. You see that one gets your mouth open, pushes down your larynx, um, and, and, and keeps the throat open. So I think she wants a big sound there. And that's why she went for me instead of for me that she does most of the time or she sings most of the time both are correct absolutely correct look at her face now you can be convinced that she pushed pushed down the um, larynx to get that deep sound you can see because when someone is you know, uh, uh, yawning pushes it down naturally. You may not know that. <laughs> that's what happens when you yawn. Uh, and that's why you have the uh, deep sound, low end sound, all right, richer sound. Singers apply it. Let's look at her face, all right? So it makes the face go, sound of God, instead of sound of God, or level. You know, and that's a sign um, that um, she lowered the larynx there, which gives you a different tone. Good singers have different colors. It's just like Dimash, you know, and, and several other good singers. They have different tones, and that's what makes them invincible when they sing. We're learning a lot. We're learning a lot. the way she you know never never you know these are the things to watch out for as well you know the way her mouth is round keep your mouth round and you're good you you control the vowels better never,
a good sliding and sustain. SS, slide and sustain. Let's listen to that again. Falsetto like. One thing about falsetto is yet another color to the tone that makes it beautiful, you know. But to have a voice that's overall falsetto is bad singing, okay? Because people who naturally, um, the way they sing is falsetto all through, is it's not a good thing. But when you use falsetto as a style like Morissette does, then you are in charge because you know you can close your uh, close your vowels, open your vowels, you can project the sound, you can get louder, you can get softer. You're just totally in control, you know. People who don't know how to sing, they tend to have a falsetto, falsetto-like voice. So... What am I saying? Falsetto is not a bad register. It's one of the registers. Like we have chest voice, head voice, mixed voice. Uh, we also have falsetto. And you see they use it sometimes here. Now there's something I want us to notice as well. 107.5 yeah, Just making sure we didn't miss out, miss out anything. Now, some singers have a challenge of not knowing when is the right time to take breath. Because it's air that comes out of your larynx or your trachea, all right, and causes the vocal cords to vibrate, all right. So the air causes the vocal cords to vibrate. When once that air runs out, uh, you definitely have to take in air again to continue, and that is a break. So you go, ah, ah. You see, it, it ought not to break. You, you you ought not to stop. So singers. They know what's coming. They see ahead. It's like a chess game. They see moves ahead. They see. They hear what's coming and they prepare for it. If it's a, if it's one, they need to take in more air. They do. All right. Now listen to this. She takes in air at the right time. Okay. She didn't take it at. She didn't take it there. She, you would have thought, okay, why did she take it after never enough? Because that break may not sound really nice. Never enough, never, never, never enough. There would be a lot of breaks and, you know, she just slided into never enough, never, never. And I think that sounded better. You know, instead of creating all those unnecessary breaks. So she took it in one breath. And it's after never, never, she took in breath again. And she's consistent. If you notice, she takes in air at the same spot all the time. She sang never enough, never, never. Listen, I'll point to the, you know, the, the, the timing she took in air. Never, never, things that make the big thing special is the little things we notice when we do this um, analysis reaction analysis that makes the big thing special the singing also Morris said you have an incredible voice Wow see you next time